talk to you about the infamous crunch that everyone's doing at the gym. Now, from our perspective, most people are actually turning themselves into human woodpeckers. And what we want to go over today is not how to turn yourself into a human woodpecker, but actually use the exercise to your benefit. Most people are doing it incorrectly because they're watching other people. Maybe people just don't know, trainers are doing it incorrectly. But the bottom line is, we're here to show you kind of what's going on and how to do it correctly and why. We're not here to mummify people, we're here to show you the why. So this is what most people are doing at the gym. Let's go through some of the, the, the ins and outs of what they're doing. They're doing it on the floor, they're not going through a full range of motion, and they're doing these half crunches and the muscle's not even lengthening, it's in a short state the whole time, and it's just spasming. And they're doing thousands of crunches. Oh, I can do a thousand crunches. That's why my abs look like this. Who gives a crap? Because the rectus abdominis muscle that you're using, your eight-pack muscle, it's actually a phasic muscle, which is a fast-switch muscle. They're anaerobic, they respond to heavier weight and less reps. They're the first muscles recruited a lot of the times when you move, depending on what's going on, but they fatigue the earliest. So they respond better to load and lighter reps or less reps, kind of like the glutes. The glutes are phasic. They respond to heavier weights and less reps. So this muscle, you're training at 180 out of degrees of how it actually works. You're training it as a slow twitch muscle. And you actually can create atrophy in that muscle. So we're doing it on the floor. We're doing these woodpecker push-ups. It's creating forward head posture in the head, which is this. It's facilitating neck pain, jaw pain, headaches, neck problems, brachial plexus problems, disc pathologies, flat necks, you name it. Other things people are doing is they're using the Swiss ball, which is great, because you can get a full range of motion. But what's happening is people are still not going into full range, kind of like the bender ball. The bender ball is an illusion that you're going into extension, you're really not. You're not going into full extension, you're going to neutral. So they're on the ball, and they're doing this half sit-up crunch. The muscle never lengthens. It's in spasm, creating forward head posture. Or they even come up even higher. All these things facilitate a forward head posture, which is this. A kyphosis in the upper body, which is this. It can cause respiratory neck problems, neck problems, shoulder problems, and problems all the way down the body. And headaches. Most of the headaches people are complaining about. So what we want to go over is how to do a crunch. We're going to show you just with body weight to start on a Swiss ball. You want to go full range of motion. So they want to start here, hands in the ears, not supporting the head, you want to use your muscles. They start in full extension, head back, almost like you're rolling up a mat. They tuck the chin first, and then they flex. And on the way down, they unroll here first, and then the head. So she's going to do a couple more. Head, tuck, curl, just like rolling up a mat, and then we unroll it, chest, head, back. So as she does this, she flexes and exhales, and then inhale on the way back. Now, depending on what you want to recruit, you can go to different lengths. Now, I'm just showing you how to do this properly, because when you do this properly, you're working the flexion and extension chain in the body. Flexor chain, extensor chain. You can actually balance out the muscles in the neck with people that have neck problems. So this is a great exercise for specific people, not for everyone, and I don't want to go into that, but this is how you do it properly. Now, for some people that are injured or very weak, Doing it with body weight is actually what they can handle because that's their load. You want to keep it to about 8 to 12 reps. For the people that are stronger, you can add in different weights, like you can add in a dumbbell. Now you can anchor the client's feet. You put the, the dumbbell across the clavicle, which is right here. Same position. You can hold their knees. Inhale on the way back. She tucks the chin, crunches it up. Back. She's going to go a little faster. It's a phasic muscle. You want to go about breathing pace. Exhale on the way back. Inhale, head, tuck, flex, exhale. Inhale, this goes first. Then the head, 8 to 12 reps. And you can increase the load. You're going to get much more recruitment out of this muscle because it's phasic with heavier reps. I'm sorry, heavier load and less reps. Now we can change it too, get rid of the dumbbell. Instead of working on just the concentric, eccentric part of the muscle, we can do it a little bit more explosive as you move through the strength phase to maybe a power phase. You can add in a kettlebell. So what you're going to do to do this through a power phase, it's the same thing, inhale, exhale. You're going to start here, you're going to inhale. So that would be your power crunch. 
Same thing, but you keep it down to more like a six to eight rep or less than 10 seconds. You'd use a heavier load depending on the person. Now, if you want to progress it even further, it's still going to be concentric, but we're going to focus more on the eccentric. Now, concentric is when a muscle shortens. Eccentric is when you're using the muscle to prevent extension. So this muscle slows down too much extension. So to give it more eccentric work, you can use a medicine ball. So you can sit on the ball, someone can throw you the ball, you can catch it, come back, and then throw it. Exhale, inhale. Now, I'm not showing you this in full time, I'm just showing you the movement. So when you're doing this with someone, you're actually going to get that throw and you're going to slow it down eccentric and still come up and explode. So it is still concentric and eccentric, but you're getting more eccentric load as you go back. So the key points when doing this exercise is full range of motion over the ball, so you get the flexion and extensor chain. Inhale on the way back, exhale on the way up. Make sure you're getting a balance and you're focusing on the phasic part of the muscle. Doing 100 crunches, 1,000 crunches is a waste of time. You're training the muscle basically 180, 180 degrees of how it works. So add some load to it, decrease the amount of reps, and let us know the success that you get. Thank you.